God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll be continuing our study in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 12. We will begin our reading today at verse 31. In our last session, we read to verse 30 and got so much out of God's Word. Uh, I, just to let you know, those of you that are logging on for the first time, to let you know what we're doing. We're teaching through the Bible, verse by verse and chapter by chapter. We started with the New Testament. We will go completely through the New Testament, uh, then to the Old Testament and go completely through the Old Testament. And those of you that log on regularly, you your, your, your walk with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and your knowledge of the Word will grow tremendously. So I encourage you to stay with us uh, and you will be blessed. Verse 31 of the 12th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew, it, re it reads, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost uh, shall not be forgiven men. So Jesus is letting us know to, to watch our words. And, and uh, let's, let's talk about that. Jesus said, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven men. So that lets me know that uh, uh, if we sin, uh, uh, then, then uh, Jesus will forgive us our sins. And that doesn't mean that we should be uh, repeated offenders and, and then uh, habitually doing the same thing over and over again. But it, it does mean, regardless of what we uh, do in our lives, uh, what type of sin, Sins we commit, Jesus will forgive us. Uh, and, and he said, all blasphemies. We have to watch what we say. Blasphemy uh, uh, comes from the word blaspheme, which simply means to talk against. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we have to be very careful using our words uh, in demeaning people. Uh, and uh, I'm going to read further so you'll get a fuller, fuller understanding uh, uh, about this word blasphemy and, and how important it, uh, it is for us to be cautious in our words. In verse 32, And whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this age, neither the age to come. So we have to be very careful in the words that we speak. We do not want to offend the Holy Spirit. We have to be careful uh, 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 especially uh, when we when we talk about uh, 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 things and talk about the, the, the Holy Spirit. Uh, although it's, it's very real, the Holy Spirit is real and I'm going to go in depth in a future study talking about the Holy Ghost, letting you know who it is, what it is, and how it is. And, and, and I'm going to let you know the part of God that is. Uh, and just to share just a brief uh, a session there, uh, the, the Holy Spirit is that part of God that feels. So we have to be very careful when, with our words uh, and never say anything against the Holy Ghost. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, Jesus said that all manner of sin shall be forgiven men. Well, well, the, there's sometimes people uh, 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 enter into a backslidden state, and, and I am not going into uh, doctrinal differences because I know uh, full well what this entails uh, for the church world, but there's sometimes people regress and, and maybe do something that they, they, they've done before in their past or, or some temptation they yield to. Jesus is letting us know that he will forgive us. Uh, well, he, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sin. This is what the Word of God says. Uh, but when it comes down to dealing with the Holy Ghost, uh, you should watch your words. Uh, I may be like you when I am off camera uh, and, and in certain settings with family and closer friends. Uh, I may say something funny. Or, or maybe do something that may be comical. Uh, but one thing I will not do, uh, I will not bring the Holy Spirit uh, into anything of that nature because I would never want to offend the Holy Ghost. Uh, I would never want to be caught into uh, uh, this blasphemy, uh, 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 blasphemy situation uh, when it comes dealing to the Holy Ghost. And all I am doing is encouraging you uh, to watch your words. Uh, I don't think we ought to live in fear and and. and and I uh, think that, oh, I've got to be careful there, you know, uh, 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 you know I'm, I, I don't want to end up doing this and I don't want to end up doing that. I am not telling you to walk in that type of fear, uh, but I am telling you, you should be cautious with your words uh, when it comes to dealing with the Holy Ghost. Uh, that is nothing to play with. That is no joking matter. So be careful with your words uh, when it comes to dealing with the Holy Ghost. Uh, and also, it's just not good to talk about and talk, talk bad about anyone. Uh, so let's watch our words. Uh, verse 33 reads, uh, either make the tree good uh, and its fruit good, uh, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by the fruit it bears. 
So, so Jesus is saying, uh, 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 you know, uh, what we yield, and I've talked in a, in a prior setting uh, about the fruit of the Spirit. Read it for yourself in Galatians chapter 5, uh, verse 22. The fruit of the Spirit is love, love, uh, uh, peace, joy, long-suffering, all these things. Uh, all these things are love. Read it for yourself. All of these things uh, 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 yield when... When you are walking in the Spirit, when the Spirit of God is with you. Uh, so Jesus is saying, uh, make the tree good uh, and its fruit good. Uh, make the tree bad uh, and its fruit uh, bad. Uh, in other words, so many words, let me, let me bring it down to you. You have to get all, down on one side or the other and not be double-minded and double-stated. Verse 34, O generation of vipers, uh, how can ye being evil speak good things? Uh, for out of the abundance of the heart... The mouth speaketh. Uh, what's in your heart uh, will come out of your mouth. Uh, so Jesus is saying, get the right thing down on the inside of you so the right thing will come out. Uh, he called them a generation of snakes. Uh, John uh, said the same thing about those that came out to his baptism. Uh, oh, generation of vipers, uh, how can you be an evil? Speak good things, uh, but out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Uh, well, let me tell you why. Uh, when people have subtlety down in them, uh, when they have gall down in them, uh, they can use the right words, uh, but have a terrible wrong meaning. Uh, you have to watch manipulative people, uh, because they'll say the right thing, uh, but let me tell you, what comes out of their heart may not be the right thing. Uh, let me read verse 35. A good man, uh, out of the good treasures of his heart, bringeth forth good things, uh, and an evil man, out of the evil treasures, bringeth forth evil things. So, what's in the heart will come to the surface. Uh, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, uh, they shall give account of uh, in the day of judgment. Uh, Jesus, Jesus is letting us know we should watch our words. Uh, don't just say anything. Uh, we should watch our words uh, and be careful what we say. Why? Because we'll give account of it in the day of judgment. Well, uh, uh, verse 37 reads, uh, For by thy word thou shalt be justified, and by thy word thou shalt be condemned. You have to watch uh, what you say now, uh, because your own word uh, will justify you, uh, or your own word uh, will condemn you. Uh, so be careful with your word. Uh, I would take a little time, but my time is rapidly moving here, uh, uh, to tell you how important your words are and how, how powerful they are. We find that the Bible tells us that death and life, uh, yes, you know the scripture, that the death and life uh, is in the power of the tongue. Uh, so we have to be very careful what we say. Uh, well, let me read on quickly. Verse 38, then uh, certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered saying, uh, Master, we would see a sign from thee. Uh, they wanted to see Jesus do something. Uh, they wanted some kind of sign that he was who he said he was. Uh, but I'm letting you know, Jesus just uh, turned around and told them, uh, uh, an, an evil and adulterous generation seek, seek it after a sign. And there shall no sign be given to it, uh, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Uh, for Jonah, uh, for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, uh, so, so shall the Son of Man be three days and, and three nights in the heart of the earth. Uh, you have to understand that Jesus was uh, 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 letting them know about his death and his burial and his resurrection, uh, what was going to be, and he used Jonah uh, as a uh, 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 as uh, 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 an example of this. Uh, uh, Jonah was the only, uh, the minor prophet, the only minor prophet that Jesus mentioned in his teaching. Uh, let's find out who this Jonah was. We we see him all the time in a negative light, but uh, uh, because uh, uh, he did not want to go down to Nineveh and, and give them the word of the Lord. But let me let you know, Jonah was a, a prophet that was noted uh, in uh, Israel. Uh, he, he prophesied during the reign uh, of King Jeroboam the second, uh, and in this reign, Je Jonah foretold uh, with wide extent of the king's uh, conquest uh, and the expansion of Israel's territory under uh, this king's leadership. Uh, and Jonah's words came to pass, and they came to pass in such strength uh, and such a rapid pace that Jonah was a known prophet uh, in Israel. Uh, and then uh, this 
task came along that, that God uh, told him to go down to Nineveh and uh, prophesy to Nineveh and give them the word of God. Jonah did not want to go. And you know the full story and we'll talk about it in a later study. Uh, he wanted to go to another city, but God had it designed for him to go to Nineveh. And because he fleed, he ended up in the belly of the whale. But let me let you know, God did not leave him there. He, he came up out of the belly of the whale and did the will of God. Well, let me let you know something. Uh, uh, Jonah had a specific job to do, and Jesus used this example, uh, even as himself, uh, and he was going to go uh, into the belly of the earth uh, and going to come up out of the belly of the earth. Well, uh, let me read on in verse 41. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, uh, greater than Jonah is here. Uh, well, Jesus is letting them know, uh, I'm preaching to you uh, and you will not hear me. Uh, I see no change. Uh, you still uh, doing the same thing that you was before. Uh, well, let me let you know, Nineveh's going to rise up uh, and it's going to be a witness against you. Uh, why? Because uh, Nineveh repented uh, at the preaching of Jonah. Uh, but here you are. We're not here, God's man. Here you are. We're not here. Uh, Jesus said, now, now there's a greater than Jonah is here. Uh, a greater, uh, greater than Jonah is here with you. Uh, Jesus talking about himself. Uh, well, my time is rapidly coming to a close for this session. Uh, but I encourage you to stay with us in this session. Uh, beloved, uh, watch your word. Uh, don't just use our word. Uh, don't talk about people. Uh, and especially, do not talk about the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's not a joking matter. Uh, it's very real. Uh, something that we could consider uh, as, uh, as, as the most important thing uh, that you will ever encounter. Uh, I love you, my friends, with the love of the Lord. Uh, remember, if you would like to talk to me, uh, if you want to contact this ministry uh, or make a donation, uh, please pray about being a partner with this ministry. You can write me 3741 Candle Bluff Drive, uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, 78244. Uh, contact me through my website, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, remember, I love you, my friends, uh, with the love of the Lord.